today we're going to be talking about classy refined colognes. So if you are that sort of person that enjoys wearing those colognes, then stay tuned. Three, two, one, let's do this. My name is Monica Chohan and on this channel we talk about fragrances. So if you're interested in fragrances then do press that notification bell and the subscribe button to get notified of my latest videos and let's get on with today's video which is by the way in partnership with Swedoft which is a, a niche Swedish fragrance house. But as always, all opinions are my own. Some brands, they just can't take opinions, but this brand is great and they do allow me to speak my mind about the releases. So let's talk about oh, Thousand and One Nights by Speedoft. This I really, really like. This I would wear myself even, uh, but it definitely leans masculine. I just love masculine colognes. What can I say? This, let's look at the notes. I really like this one actually. Top notes, herbs, sea note, bergamot and rose. Then support notes, oud, amber, rose, pepper and gin. And I really do smell the effervescence slightly effervescent like gin note the bergamot definitely is slightly um salty to me it smells like a baked good sort of pie it the rose is definitely prominent but it's not a rose in the sense of like a wild rose this is a pretty pretty pink rose and I really like the amber because it gives it a lot of warmth. It is vanillic sort of amber note that has got some spice behind it and this scent is really really wonderful. This would be a sweater weather sort of scent. This is a sophisticated also date night scent I would say. This scent really reminds me of a pudding a slightly spicy creamy rose water maybe uh, pudding and it's it's beautiful it can it kind of smells like almonds and cherries to me too although it's not something that is listed but I do pick out uh, that sort of vibe and it's really really good so that one was a thousand and one nights next up we've got ten oud or X wood. I don't know if it's supposed to be a 10. Let's look at the notes of this one. And this one has got notes such as agarwood, saffron, smoked leather, black currant, patchouli, musk, pineapple, apple, and jasmine. And this is definitely an oud scent, but it's not a in your face oud. It's a approachable, likable oud that is to totally wearable for every single day. Um, in a similar fashion, like I always talk about oud wood, it's a very likable designer sort of easy going oud. This is along those lines, an oud that you could wear every day that will not bother anybody. This is an extremely masculine fragrance and in the opening you get loads of black currant in this one and it's very juicy and yummy, which it's funny because I wouldn't usually think, oh, oud is yummy. So I really like this one. This is definitely a man's uh, scent, man's cologne uh, sort of vibe, and I wouldn't wear it because it's so masculine. So if you like alpha men sort of scents, and this one is for you, it smells very, very good quality and leaves you with a thick a layer of oil on your hand too, which is, you know, it just shows how much actual perfume oil is in this fragrance. It's not like diluted like some designer fragrances. Let me know if you've ever tried Swedoft and I would love to know which one of their fragrances is your favorite. I do love um, Swedish just everything like Scandinavian I used to live there so I'm very happy to support another Scandinavian fragrance niche brand remember I post every Monday and Thursday and also if you love something just wear it and I'll see you all again very soon bye guys